Hi, I'm Matt from Maker's Empire. In this series of short videos, I'm going to help you get your Maker's Empire teacher's dashboard set up and introduce a few of the most important tools for you as a teacher. In this first video, you will sign in to your teacher dashboard and learn how to add your class and students. When you signed up to Maker's Empire, or when you were added to your school's account, you should have received an email from us with a link to activate your account. If you can't find this email, try looking in your email junk folder. If you still can't find it, send us a message at info at makersempire.com and we can resend it for you. When you click the link in the email, you will be asked to choose a username and password. This will be your username and password for the Makers Empire 3D app and also the teacher dashboard. Please note that your username is what your students and others will see in the Makers Empire 3D app, so we suggest choosing something that your students will recognise without being your real name. Once you have a username and password, you will be signed in to your teacher dashboard. One of the first things you'll notice is a handy checklist with quick links to help you get set up. Follow the links to take care of the next two tasks, adding or joining a class and adding your students. It is worth mentioning that if you join Maker's Empire using a Google Classrooms or Clever account, your class list will sync automatically so you can skip the next couple of steps. To add a new class, simply click the Add Class button, give your class a name and you're done. If you are joining a school account where classes have already been set up, you can click the star next to a class name to mark that class as one of your favourites. If you are adding a single class of students, you can add them one by one. Just click the Add Student button to give your student a username and password. It is always important to model good digital safety, so make sure the usernames you choose do not reveal any personal identifiable information. Similarly, it is not a good idea to give your whole class the same password. You can give your students individual login cards later, so don't worry too much about them forgetting their details. If you are adding multiple classes, we recommend using the CSV import tool. It takes a few minutes to set up your CSV file, but it will save you hours of admin effort later on. To use the CSV import option, click Add Class, and then click Use CSV Import. Follow the prompts to download the template, populate your spreadsheet, and then import your class list. There are a few important notes regarding CSV imports. One, do not change the heading in the first row. If you do, it won't work. Two, enter your student's name and class. The other columns are optional. Three, if you leave the username and or password columns empty, our system will generate a username and password for your students. Four, when you upload your file, you have a few extra options to choose from. Depending on your preferences, our system can try to match existing student accounts and automatically update your Maker's Empire classes for you. This doesn't make a difference if you are setting up classes for the first time, but it is a massive time saving when it comes time to roll over your classes at the end of the school year. Once you have imported your CSV file, don't forget to star any classes that you will be working with. The final step in getting your classes set up is printing login cards for your students. Using the menu on the left, go to Class Management, then choose Classes. Choose your class, and then click the More Options button. That is the three dots on the right. Select Class Login Cards to download a PDF with each student's username, password, and an individual QR code. If you're using Maker's Empire with younger learners, the QR code can be a great time saver. You can also download individual login posters to send home. A lot of kids love using Maker's Empire at home, and parents are often amazed to see their children working on 3D designs. So now you've successfully logged in to your teacher dashboard and set up your classes. In the next video, we'll have a look at how to sign in and start designing with the Maker's Empire 3D app.